go to Canada. That was by far the most beautiful nail salon I've ever been in. Loved the decoration, beautiful, such a vibe. However, I was there for almost three hours to get this done. So, didn't love that part, but everything else is great. Ow, Jesus. Very basic, but the camera angle sucks. I can tell. What the f are you doing? Is it this way? Yes. So I just took a yoga class. This is my second yoga class I've taken in Canada. I feel so bad for you guys. I'm so sorry. To those of you who live in Canada, come to LA and go to Hot 8 and your life is gonna change forever. Because I'm so sorry, your yoga kind of sucks. I, I love you so much, but it's, it's not hot. I mean, I feel like I only have a right to say this because I'm literally certified to teach sculpt. So, although I will say the yoga class I took wasn't technically labeled as a sculpt class, but I don't know. I have a lot of things I don't like about it and I barely break a sweat. Whereas in LA, I'm literally sweating within the first 10 minutes, but it's okay. No hate to anyone. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I might be wrong. I don't think I am though. <laughs> back at the laundromat. At first he was very against this whole idea of going to a laundromat and now he was the one who suggested it. Hmm, guess who likes the laundromat now? So we're both doing our laundry and then he also tried to tell me that he packed enough for two weeks that he wouldn't have to wash any clothes. I'm not, I have no comment. Yeah, exactly. So let's go. We're back. And just like that, boom. Done. Favorite place on earth. Love the lady who works there. Such a sweetheart. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna show my face because I don't want to give any spoilers and I have some stuff, some makeup on. But I just wanted to show you guys how amazing Crafty is. Been on many sets and this might be my favorite Crafty ever, okay? Well, for lunch, I got fried chicken, rice, corn, and then that's some type of pasta fried chicken are you kidding but they have so many choices they always have some type of rice some type of meats they always have three different types of salads fruits they always have vegetables maybe like a pasta they always have a different type of bread okay i got caesar salad and bread they like sometimes have like garlic bread sourdough bread they just have so much stuff and then their desserts Guys, every, uh, I mean, Crafty is always great, but like this one's extra special, so. And then they have an amazing iced tea as well. <sighs> 10 out of 10. I just went into the cutest little shop and got the cutest little macaroons and I am so excited to try them. It was so cute. Like it had a whole little like 
dining area but it was just macaroons and like pastries and tea and it was so cute like I would so go there and read but I got a 12 box of macaroons and I got like every almost every flavor except for like the ones I knew I wouldn't like and I'm so excited I don't know what it is about being in a different place but like everything I'm doing here I could do back home like there are probably places that do exactly this but I will never do it. I don't know why, just something about being in a different place forces me to do shit I would never do. I, oh, hi. I'm so excited. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, I don't really remember what each of them were, but this I know was French vanilla and it's a heart shape, which is adorable. I love macaroons, macarons, whatever. I don't even know what they're made out of. They're so good. I think I'm gonna try one more. This one was called Marie Antoinette tea. So I don't know what that entails, but it's blue. Oh, that's something I've tasted. It actually surprisingly does kind of taste like tea, but also it's really lemony, which isn't my favorite. And then I think this is vanilla. I know I said I wasn't doing a taste test, but they're really good. I can't stop. That's really good. It is, I'm leaving. Okay, it is, whoa, what's today? Today is Wednesday. I have the day off. I'm not shooting today. I'm shooting tomorrow and then I leave the next day. So we're nearing the end of our trip. I just did a bunch of shopping. I break in my bank account at Lulu. What's happening? Broke my bank account a little bit at Lululemon, but that's okay. I'm about to go to yoga class. This is the fourth yoga class I've taken in Canada. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty proud of myself. Four yoga classes in two weeks two a week, that's pretty good for a vacation. And I really made it a goal to like keep working out while I'm here. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to a yoga class and it's at a studio I haven't tried yet. And actually one of the people on set who lives here, cause she films here, told me that it's the best and it's actually hot like the ones in LA because she's from LA as well. Um, yeah. I think this is the first time I'm not actually at all cold. The sun is out. I'm like kind of getting sad. I don't really want to go home. Like I do, I miss I miss my friends and I miss my bed. But I really love it here. Like I love it here. I'm gonna miss being able to walk everywhere and I'm gonna miss the food. Guys, 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 what the f what the f what the f I got the weirdest thing in my entire life just happened. Okay, let me tell you what the heck just happened to me. I get to an intersection, right? And I'm waiting to cross the street. I'm waiting for the little light to say that I can cross. And all of a sudden, this man walks out into the middle of the road. Like all of us are watching this man walk out into oncoming traffic. People start breaking, honking. My jaw's on the floor. Somehow he walks through unscathed, okay? I'm sitting there jaw agape trying to process what just happened when all of a sudden I hear a voice behind me or beside me. It's a British, very British man who's wearing red and it, he had like this like, I think it was red cross, like a little badge and a little lanyard on, right? So he kind of like laughs and goes like, that was crazy. And I'm like, yeah, that was. And he goes, he was like, oh my gosh, that was a bonding experience. And I was like, uh, yeah, I guess so. And not to sound narcissistic, but immediately, like, when a random person talks to you, you know, you're trying to clock, why Why are you talking to me? What, what's your intention? So I thought this man was trying to get my number. I thought that's where this was going, okay? We're like, we laugh it off, whatever. Then the crosswalk turns and it's time for me to walk. So I go, well, I'm going that way. And he goes, well, while you walk, can I walk with you and talk? And I'm like, sure the place i was going to was literally only a block down so i wasn't like scared like i was getting to my destination fast so we start walking right he introduces himself i introduce myself and then he goes his first question to me his very first opening line what's your favorite place in the world where is this going so i'm like hawaii and he's like oh very cool are you well traveled and i'm like i guess like i i'm not from here i'm here just shooting a show and he's like yeah and then he goes when i said that he goes oh so you're important and i was like what what am i supposed to say? 
what am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> I think that's when we got to my destination, the drugstore I was trying to go into, the pharmacy. And I go, well, this is my stop. He goes, okay, before I never see you again, can I ask you one last thing? Um, and it's a little cheeky, so promise not to hate me. Pinky promise. He made me pinky promise to him. And I was like, I know you're about to ask me for my number. Then he goes, how old are you? And I go, oh, okay. So then I was like 19. And he goes, darn it, how could you do this to me? And then he goes, I was gonna ask you if you wanted to be a part of a campaign, but you have to be 25. Wh what campaign? I never found out. I was never, he never told me what the hell he was talking about. I have no idea what he was talking about still. And then he was like, I don't know, sorry, I had to ask. I've met 16 year olds that look like 30 year olds and 30 year olds that look like 16 year olds. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> well, very nice to meet you. And then he's like, very nice to meet you. Check us out anytime you want. And I'm like, check who out? You haven't even told me who you are. He's like, you're pointing to a badge I can barely read. Like, what? He gave me no information. And then, so then I'm like, okay, bye, bye. I walk in, two seconds later, he shouts. He goes, you're also just a really interesting person. And I was like, thanks. I, I, guys, I'm so, so confused. I thought I was on a prank show. I thought someone was gonna whip out a camera and be like, this is on TikTok now. Like, I, I didn't know what was happening. And then I saw someone else with the same lanyard as I kept walking. So I think they're like scouting people or something. I mean, I'm honored that they tried to get me to be a part of it, but some more information would have been helpful. And I guess I don't even meet the age range. So that was my experience. <laughs> um, okay, I, yoga time. Guys, I just took the worst yoga class of my entire life. I literally left 20 minutes early. I can't do this shit. And now I'm in a sauna that's not even hot. Why does Canada not understand what the word heated means? Like this is, honestly, how hot it is in here should be how hot it is in that yoga room. Ready to go home. Let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> We're leaving Canada. We had an amazing time. I want to go home. <laughs>